All right, very quick video today. Um, normalized power, is it actually that effective? Is it that important? And what are some of the flaws? So anyway, this is just a recovery ride. Um, anyway, we'll, we'll go back on this. So you look at it and you're like, try that, it's not like a recovery ride. Ignore this FTP, that's when I was odd. Um, we'll change this to what it actually is, just like 25. Um, but anyway, so it looks like a pretty hard recovery ride. You know, it'll be like, you know, zone two, like 67%. So you're like, that's, that's a pretty hard recovery ride, mate. Like, what are you doing there? Um, but I, I mean, it's not, um, and I'll show you why it's not. So we'll ignore the end because basically I lost my glass and to go up the hill. But, but okay, so this is the recovery ride. 154 watts, 159 normalized. That's, you know, very, very good, very good, very good. Then we suddenly include this peak here. It's 195 normalized for 40 minutes. And that's literally because I did about 40 seconds at 500 watts. So like no, what was it? No, a minute at 413. 46 seconds at 471 watts so like you know that's not really representative like this ride being 190 normalized obviously this bit here was pretty high normalized as well um like it's just not representative i just don't really think it's like it's always the best thing to look at like average power here 157 that's far more what it was like obviously you can look at variability index which is um your, your uh, actual power divided by normalized and then you know obviously figure out what that is but you know, so obviously you can tell there's a huge variability index, but you know, it's just it's just unbelievable. If we look before, like the whole ride is 189 normalized, and it's literally because of this. Without that peak, you know, afterwards it was like 160 watts average, and you know, you can see though it's not very stochastic, so it would be similar. Um, I think kilojoules burn is sometimes a good thing to look at. So if you look at here, the kilojoules burn is 530 kilojoules an hour. That's a pretty good thing. So like this this rate here, I think is actually quite a good way of telling. What sort of ride it is? So we'll go, we'll go over to a different ride today. Um, but you can see here that kilojoules is like six hundred and thirty-three normalized one ninety. Um, but I think that's you know a lot more. It's a lot better way of telling how hard a ride is because that's how much work you're doing. I think sometimes normalized power. Is, you know, I really rate normalized power for races and stuff. But even then, I think it gives like you know like I've done three hundred and fifteen normalized for like two hours, which. I mean, maybe more to be fair. I, I mean, like some of my normalized figures are, are mental, but on a climb, I, there's no way I'd be able to sustain like 330 watts for like two hours or something. I think I don't something stupid like that. Um, I've done at least 280 normalized for three hours, which I think there's no way I could do that up a climb. So, um, well, when I have fitness, obviously now I'm not. Um, so yeah, I think normalized is good to look into, but it's not the be and all, all and end all, especially on a really easy ride. And then you do what 45 seconds at 483 watts. That's yeah, that's going to change it massively. So I think, yeah, it's just obviously it, it's important, but it's uh, it's not everything. What are your thoughts about normalized power? Obviously, you know, it's very good to, in some aspects, potentially on a longer ride like this, you can see it normalized 230, average 200. Shows it's a harder ride, like obviously there's some efforts and stuff, but I think sometimes, especially if you're doing, you know, around the 30 seconds where you obviously normalized power, if you didn't know, was... It's the rolling 30 second average, so it takes a whole ride, splits it up into 30 second averages, puts it to the fourth route, sums all of those rolling 30 second averages, and then all square routes up to, and then does that to the square root of the fourth, to the fourth root, which basically means that the zeros um, are very small, and obviously the big numbers are massively increased. This is because there's some relationship between lactate and um, when lactate is taken away, I believe it has some relationship to the fall through. Can't remember exactly, but I think that's it. So anyway, that's the video. What are your thoughts on normalized? Let me know. Um, and I hope to make some more videos. Um, hopefully some more informative ones than this one, but just a quick one. I thought I'd bang out to keep the upload consistency.